Hey, it's the twins. Welcome to our dorm tour. In this video, we'll talk about aspects of the Six College campus, give you some Six dorm basics, give you a res hall tour, and answer some questions. Here are some Six College basics. There are four residential buildings, Catalyst, Kaleidoscope, Tapestry, and Mosaic, which only has apartments. There is one market and five residential dining restaurants, Mackay, Wolftown, Crave, Noodles, and Rooftop. These are all located in Mosaic. There are also non-dining plan restaurants at 6. My favorite is Blue Bowl. To continue, you can find a three-level underground parking lot beneath Catalyst and Mosaic. You can also take classes here at the lecture halls in Catalyst, Mosaic, at the Genie Auditorium, the Ridgewalk Academic Complex, or the Social Sciences Building. You can also find a craft center, a mailing room, a basketball court, and more. Six dorms have residential suites and apartments. The suites range from 5 to 16 people and apartments have either 4 or 6 people. The floors here are co-ed, but individual suites and apartments are one gender only. We were in a 12 person suite in Catalyst and you can find the rest of these floor plans in the description. Each building has a laundry floor. On Catalyst, it's located on floor 5. On Mosaic, it's located on floor 3, and Kaleidoscope and Tapestry both have their laundromats on floor 7. Catalyst had around 15 washers and dryers each. All buildings also have a public balcony, and Kaleidoscope even has a garden. Let's jump right into our Catalyst dorm tour. Most floors have a full kitchen, which has a stovetop, a microwave, an oven, a sink, and a fridge. There's a seating area and also a balcony. Let's move into the suites. Each suite has a spacious lounge with a couch, chairs, table, and view of the outside. There's also a stairwell that will connect you to another suite of the same gender and size. For us, this meant we were connected to a 12-person girl suite above us. Here's our view of the social sciences building from the lounge. The window includes one openable window and adjustable blinds. Each suite has three to eight sinks depending on your layout, and each sink is normally shared by two people. Sinks have mirrors, mirror storage, and under the sink shelves. Each suite has two to four toilets depending on your layout. There are also two to four showers depending on your suite layout. They are separated from the toilet and the sinks. They include hooks and a curtain. Let's move on to the double room. Doubles and six are really spacious. Two people share a space, a window, and a heater, and each person gets a bed, desk, chair, cubicle, closet, and set of drawers. There are also hooks for towels and outlets. Single rooms in Six College are about half the size of a double. Each single room includes one window, a bed frame, a mattress, a closet, a two cabinet bed drawer, a desk, a chair, a cubicle, trash and recycling bins, as well as a towel rack and some hooks. Now room specifics. Here's the window, it's around floor to ceiling, can be open, and has pretty opaque adjustable blinds. Our view was of mosaic and the general lawn. We tried adding our own curtains, but it didn't work. Here's the desk, cubicles, and chair that they provide you. The desk has two drawers, the right one can be locked. We also had brought our own chair for more comfort. Each student gets a twin XL mattress. That's longer than a twin, but smaller than a full. The bed frame is adjustable using a mallet or a hammer, and the higher you loft your bed, the more space you have underneath the bed. Your closet is essentially a big wooden box, which has a hanger bar and two removable drawers. Let's get into some questions, answers, and show you our decorated dorm.
what things can you bring to the dorm? We've left a detailed packing list in the description, but most things that you can't bring are out of safety and to keep the dorms in good condition. What is the flooring in six dorms? Six dorms have concrete floors, so definitely bring a vacuum or broom. You can hang anything in your room as long as it is with glue tape or command hooks. Over the door hooks on the room door or in the closet are also acceptable. Dining plans at UCSD are a set dollar amount as opposed to meal swipes. We both had a $3,000 meal plan. We are able to cash in these dollars at dining halls such as Six College or even in Warren or Ravel, but you cannot use these dining dollars at places in Price Center or in Mandeville. Is there a student curfew? There is no curfews for UCSD students, however there are quiet hours that are in force. How many RAs are there? There is about one RA per floor at Six College. Can I choose my roommate from a different college? You can request your roommate as long as they are in the same college as you. Are there custodial services for the dorms? Yes, there are. The custodial services come at least once a week to clean your sinks, showers, refill your toilet paper, give you trash bags, and dust your floors. Are all UCSD dorms like this? No, they are not. We got really lucky to be in Sixth College, even though we just chose it for the GEs. Can I get into a Sixth apartment as a freshman? High chance, no. Those are usually reserved for upperclassmen. Is housing at UCSD guaranteed as a freshman? Yes. All freshmen who request housing get a dorm as of 2022. However, second years and above have not been guaranteed housing at this time. What's moving like? On your housing portal, you are able to select a time and date that you want to move in. Once you arrive at the school, you are required to take a COVID test, and they also give your ID and your room key. They also provide you with big yellow rolling bins, but we recommend that you bring your own dolly if you have one. Also, bring a mallet or a hammer so you can adjust and loft your bed. Thanks y'all for watching. Be sure to check out the description for our packing list and more. Be sure to like, share, and leave your questions and comments below. See you soon.